Palestinians condemn the Zionist occupation's falsification and theft of their history as part of its plans to create a Jewish state in historic Palestine, plans that the Palestinian people address with all the means of at their disposal, including the organization of handicraft exhibition about the tradition, historical symbols, and sociocultural heritage. Our correspondent in Syria, Hisham Wanus, with the story. Under the slogan, from generation to generation, more than 30 Palestinian female visual artists and artisans exhibited in Damascus their work on the Palestinian heritage. These handicraft products, including embroidery, traditional textiles, wood carvings, glass paintings, and recycled fabrics, are part of the cultural identity of these people that the Israeli occupier tries to erase and falsify. Through this exhibition, we want to pass on to the new generations the heritage that we have inherited from our parents and grandparents, so they can fulfill the mission of our generations to defend our national collective memory and to strengthen the bond of our national identity and our occupied rights, our occupied land and our right to return to our homeland the historical Palestine. Our aim is to bring back to life the heritage of our ancestors and in my own case my contribution is with handmade textile products whose history dates back to the 13th century and is a particular craft of Arab craftsmen including Palestinians who produce the best handmade textile products in the world. The event, organized by the General Union of Palestinian Writers and Journalists, the Popular Heritage Association, and the Syrian Homeland Declaration Foundation, is one of many similar events being organized regionally and internationally as part of the struggle of the Palestinian people to regain their usurped rights and confirm their existence and identity through culture. Copper embossing is an essential component of our handcrafting heritage and is an artistic work that distinguishes us as a people and through this exhibition we try to make the world know the historical origin of this craft, proper to the Arab people, especially the Palestinian and Syrian people. In addition to these collective exhibitions, there are individual initiatives by Palestinian living in exile such as the case of the Palestinian refugee Abu Ali, who turned his house in Syria into a museum of traditional Palestinian objects, including documents, testimonies, and evidence that prove that the Zionist occupation is a fictitious entity that has no history to show in the historical Palestine belonging to the millenary Palestinian people. Hisham Wanus, Telesur, Damasco, Syria.